I'm absolutely unqualified in everything except my truth and today that's like all I'm gonna be talking about today I'm hitting a topic that might be a little dicey um and that is medicine and like I love a good medicine I personally don't think it is only pharmaceuticals I think that getting some of the Pacific Ocean into your life is medicine. Smoking a little Jablinski is medicine. Hanging out with friends is medicine. Like medicine is a lot of things, but I'm going to talk about the scientific medicine. Like I'm going to touch on some stuff that I, you know, if you're curious about hearing later, go ahead. Um, okay, so if you've been watching, it's very clear that I'm, like, going through it. I mean, it's obviously clear I'm going through it because I'm literally in treatment right now. And a part of the program is, like, you know, access to a psych. And that's awesome because I don't have to pay any extra or think too much about it. But I was so resistant. Like, genuinely did not want to go to a point that I was like, I'm just gonna fucking free ball my my mental illness like whatever which i might still do you know what it, i'm gonna make decisions that are healthy for me and i have a, a core value in honoring science and appreciating the work that people put into and like the long-term goal of science that is like building understanding right that's my whole vibe and not reaching a point of desperation right to figure something out um, people often misunderstand science, um, and right now we're really in an era where people are questioning it and not trying to, like, sit at the table with it and, you know, find out what is best for not only the entire community, but for their individual sovereignty, and that is a tricky thing to do. Um, I... You know, I, I love a little Tylenol, I love a little Tums, I love a little anything. Like, I really genuinely look at medicine and see it as something that could help me no longer live in hardship. And I have no idea why I was not applying that to my mind. And I just, you know, I, I'm willing to try it. And uh, that's hard for me to say, but it's like one of the things that I have to work through and I will wor work through because it's like, I, yeah, my friend Matt, um, I'll, you know, a huge inspiration to me as I was getting my journey started, talked with my friend, asked how I was, you know, I don't even, I have not, I hung out with Matt one time, but I really do consider him a friend and he was like, yes, you can do it. You can battle your demons by yourself, like, with the sheer willpower of, like, the world and your yourself and your capabilities alone. And, like, but do you have the time? And I'm like, no! <laughs> um, and, you know, I've been entering, I'd say, like, Oh, like oh, the way I describe it and actually the way my therapist described it was like states of mania like in my pursuit of changing the world because I'm so excited about it and I really am actually seeing that I can try at least in a real genuine way to me that can change things I'm I, like I'm good I'm good at getting embarrassed and I'm good at feeling ashamed and I'm good at like doing all of that in stride and taking full responsibility for like the way that I make other people feel and like that's my vibe that's my truth hello chips he knows that this one is hard for me but you know I, I but I don't apply that to like me needing to get help or like being read by I don't know, science, you know? Maybe it's because I re respect it, like, so much, too much, that, like, if it says something negative about me, I'll cry. And I have many times, and I have grappled with the reality that maybe it will dull my passion. Chips, dude. I'm trying to 
Talk to the people. I'm trying to do my art, bro. <laughs> Come here. Um, and, but my, also one of my things that I'm doing is like loving myself hard enough to know that I like need help and can ask for it in not just friends and family, but in science and in whatever it needs to be and like i am asking you my audience that if it's if you're seeing a negative change in me please tell me because <laughs> i don't want to lose what makes me me and i think that it really does um but that's built on a perception that I know is wrong because I had a very similar perce perception when I was going into treatment and I was like not oriented and I was thrown into the deep end without any form of comfort except myself and the other people in the program with me because it was in person and everybody else was online and it like, oh, it was devastating. It was... It was really, really bad for me to kick off that way. And that's me and my personal preference. There have been other people who that I'm sure has worked tremendously, but I'm I'm an office lady. I could take full ownership of that. Like I freaking like wanna be oriented. I wanna know what's going on. I wanna I wanna know what's up. Um and I think we all share that in very different ways, you know. We wanna know what time you're gonna be there we want to know this we want to know that and and some people don't you know some people are just like let's free fall together please i want to free fall together and i want to do both you know i want to see what the free fall gives me and and i want to try to help myself not i don't know not lose <laughs> chips not lose my you know i don't know my focus i am very bad at focusing but a lot of times that makes it like nice like i've always considered myself a generalist and able to i don't know People are worried about me and I'm listening to the people who love me because they help and teach me how to love myself. And like, I'm worried about the people I love worrying about me. <laughs> and like, I'm worried about myself too. And I'm trying to figure it out, you know? I just want to be a person and who is nice and good and kind and compassionate and exudes love and people who love one another don't listen to others and don't listen to themselves and I don't yeah and if I'm trying to build a world where my next of kin my nieces and nephews and if i have a child ever like them you know a world that upholds science and respects the scientific process and stuff like that and that includes mental health and whatever professionals say are good but and always maintaining the reality that i'm a professional in myself and like i'm crying because i'm scared you know, I'm thinking about all the potential outcomes and I'm thinking about how it might stop me from whatever. But I was given a new perspective by my friend Gianna. I'll tag her below. She's so wise and so intelligent. And we have very similar backgrounds, but very different reactions to those backgrounds. And uh, she told me that, like, it actually like helps you focus on what's most important to you and I want that for myself if that's what I need 
I don't even know. That's the thing. Like, I'm just freaking running off an assumption. And that's what has freaking got me into weird situations. My life is a movie ass. Like, like all my assumptions are reality ass. That's how I ended up yelling at my own mother in the streets of Cerritos. The suburban streets of Cerritos at 1 in the morning last night. And... I'm done being that girl. And if that includes reaching out to Dr. Holt, who I think is an absolute fucking dick, um, and respecting the reality that he's a doctor and I am not, then fucking let's go. Right? Let's go. Let's do it. I'm down. Um, my inspirations for today are Matt. Pressman, uh, Pressmaniac, followed him below. He's so fucking cool and fun. I love him. Um, my Capricorn guide in this life who always shows me logic when my emotions are running rampant. Um, Max Crandall, um, they are a wonderful person. Also, like, I, uh, accountability on Maine, I misgendered their partner. Um, yesterday and I feel really bad about that I'll talk to them about it and yeah uh, um, follow them on TikTok uh, um, Crandy um, Max I believe I'm not sure I'll put it in the thing and um, oh uh, my sweet dear wonderful friend Christopher Boss who counseled me as well and reminded me that health is so important it's so important to him that he's he's devoting his life to it uh in dietitian services nutrition science like he is literally about to finish his master's at pepperdine and that i love that he is amazing <laughs> and i love you goodbye have a good day if you have any questions anything you want to tell me do it in the chat below i love you oh also another inspiration obviously tiana always inspiring me get your hair done by the the woman she's um a beast and she listens to me and i listen to her it just takes us you know some time to get through the emotions of it all and it's care you know I love you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.